So here in this video, we're gonna be looking at a frequency distribution table. So it might sound like a fancy word, but it really isn't too bad at all. So again, we're looking for the mean, the median, and the mode from this frequency distribution table. So this is the table down here. So it says it's the pulse rates of adults after, I think when you're just when they're sitting down, it doesn't really matter just for the example question. We need to find the mean, the median, and the mode. So the top means that um, the pulse rate that was measured was between 60 and 70. 70 and 80, 80 and 90, 90 and 100, 100 and 110, and 110 and 120. And that's in beats per minute. And then the bottom row, that's the frequency. So that means there are five people who measured between 60 and 70 beats per minute. There were eight people between 70 and 80 beats per minute. You don't know their exact value. You just know it's somewhere in that bracket. Uh, 22 between 80 and 90, and so on. Um, so that's what a frequency distribution table means, just in case you weren't sure. So we've seen these for histograms, so they're pretty useful for drawing out a histogram where you can go 5, 8, 22, 29, 13, and then again 5. So that would be um, what it would look like sort of in a, a histogram. Obviously that's not to scale or anything. But how do we find the mean, the median, and the mode with this? So I'll go through each one uh, and hopefully it'll become clear. So I'll scroll down. The easiest one is uh, definitely the mode. So the mode in this case is 90 to 100 because it's the one with the most amount of people in it. Frequency means how many people. Um, so 29 is the biggest number, so that means 90 to 100 is the mode. I'll say BP, actually wait, I'll just get rid of that circle, BPM, there. So that's the mode, that's easy enough. I'll do the median next, which is probably the next easiest. easiest. I'll change color, I'll go blue. The median, okay. So the median, there are, if we add all of these numbers together, so median, it's going to be 5 plus 8 plus 22 plus 29 plus 13 plus 5. Add that all together, we get 82. Okay, so there are 82 people who took part in the study or who just measured their pulse. So the median value there would be between the 41st and 42nd person. So we need to find where the 41st and the 42nd person would be if we ordered all of these pulses um, in an ordered list from lowest to biggest, okay? So the way I'm gonna do that is I'll change to purple. So I'm gonna say if we add five plus eight, so the first, this many people from the first two groups, okay, we're gonna get 13. So that means the, the median isn't in either of these two groups because they're only the first 13 people. Then I'm also gonna add plus 22 to that and we're gonna get 35. So that means it's not in the first three groups because remember it's going to be between the 41st and the 42nd person. And if we add 35 plus 29, which is the next group, okay? Um, all right, I'll just get rid of that pink, pink circle. So if we add 35 plus 29, we're going to get 64. Okay? So that means uh, it's going to be somewhere between, so it's uh, the 41st and 42nd number is between. 35 and between 64. So that means that the, it's going to be somewhere in this bracket here. So once we added the 29. So hopefully that makes sense that the first 35 people, the median can't be in there. And also, um, it can't be above the 64. So it can't be in any of this here. So that means it has to be in this 29. So the median then, I'll write it over here in purple. The median is also between 90 and 100 beats per minute. So again, there's no kind of definitive answer for these because it's a frequency distribution table. Um, I'll put a square on the mode as well. Uh, and even the, the mean, which gives a better answer, is still just an estimate. So um, have a look at this because I'm going to have to rub this out so I have space to do the mean because we have to be able to look at the table too. So have a look at that. Write anything down if you're taking notes. Um, and then I'll get rid of this. Okay, lovely. So now we can start looking at the mean. So the mean does give an actual number, but it is just an estimate. It's not an exact number. So the way to do the mean is you have to find the mid interval values for all of these um, intervals here. Okay. So I'm going to write those just above here over this space. So the mid interval value, which is basically just the average of 60 and 70. So in this case, it's going to be 65, 75 here. It's going to be 85, 95, 105 and 115. Okay, so the mid interval value, which is just kind of the middle value, 
Um, and the next thing we have to do, so the mean, remember, is all of the numbers on top added divided by the total number of numbers, the total amount of numbers. So what we're going to do is there's about there's five people who got about 65. They got between 60 and 70. So that means we could write 65 plus 65 plus 65 plus 65 plus 65 plus, and then we can add all of the 75s, so we can write 875s and so on, but that would take way, way too long. And then at the end, we can divide it all by 82. So we're gonna have 82 individual numbers, but a quicker way of doing it, so that, that would be kind of an estimate of the meme. Meme, uh, a quicker way of doing it is, let me just get rid of these. So there's five 65s, so we can write 65 multiplied by five plus, there's about eight people. There's eight people who got about 75. So then 75 multiplied by eight, plus there's 22 people who got about 85. So 85 multiplied by 22, plus 95 multiplied by 29, and hopefully you guys are getting it, plus 105 multiplied by 13. So I'm just gonna say arrow, that's actually not equal to the number of the mean. Um, Sorry, ignore what I did there, 115 by five. So what you do for each case is you find the mid interval value and you multiply it by the frequency. So you get the sum of all of those. If you add all those together, you're gonna get seven, four, nine, six. And the last step to do now is to divide seven, four, nine, six by the amount of people that were there. So the amount, which is gonna be 82. And so then our final answer, the mean, is going to be 91 beats per minute, which if you remember the last two answers, they were both between 90 and 100. So in this case, they're all pretty close together. And um, so we know that the best average sort of is between 90 and 100 as our best estimate of the say average pulse rates. And um, so again, that mean is just an estimate because we're estimating that everyone in this group got 65, everyone in this got 75, um, but it's probably our, our best estimate. So hopefully that makes sense there, how to get um, the mean, the median, and the mode from a frequency distribution table. Um, yeah, and then in the next video, we're gonna be looking at uh, measures of variation. So the range and the interquartile range. Um, so yeah, I guess if you enjoyed the video, like and share it with your friends and subscribe to the, to the page. And we'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching.